I'd like to say I had something good to report this morning, but I don't. I just got back from the mall. I had breakfast at my usual restaurant spot, Dulce and Cremoso. And then I went up to Mega Maxi to see what the situation is there as far as food supply. It's very bleak. There is no food. There's no meat. There's no fish, chicken, no nothing. No frozen foods, nothing. There's no milk. There's no, there's no eggs. There's no bread. And even the beer and wine is being depleted. Uh, it looks to me like they've laid off most of the staff in the store. And keep in mind, Mega Maxi is a giant store. It's like a Walmart super center. So... If I were you and you were coming to Monta this weekend, I would say don't. Don't come here. There's food in some of the restaurants, but you know, if they're running out in the grocery stores, they're running out in the restaurants too. I, I, I know one thing, I'm stressed beyond belief and I'm really worried about what uh, I'm gonna do. I don't know at some point if this keeps up if there's gonna be some point where I'm gonna have to get on a plane and go home. I mean, we, we do have to eat, you know. I can probably go for some time just eating rice and beans you know, I have plenty of that. I have some frozen fish and I have a little bit of milk and I have some cereal and I have some fruit, but not much, you know. The, there's no good news in terms of the strikes. There's no good news in terms of the roadblocks. Some people are reporting on Facebook that they have been able to get from Monta to Waikil, but there's been some disruptions, but they've made it, you know. I'd, I'd, I'd say don't come to Ecuador right now, folks. If you are planning to come here this weekend, and especially if you're coming to Monta, Quito, or Cuenca, I don't advise it. I, I say stay home. Stay home. Reschedule your trip. All this could change with the stroke of a pen, but it doesn't look like that's gonna happen. I don't wanna get into a lot of discussion about why and into the debate about the indigenous people and the government. Everybody has an answer. The fact remains is that it continues. There's no resolution. Doesn't seem like either side wants to give in. As long as it continues like that and the government doesn't do anything, you know, it, it, it looks like the, the protesters are better armed than the police. So I feel for the plight of the people. I feel for everybody that's involved in this. And I really feel for the people here, here in Monta, here in my own backyard that can't get food to eat. So stay home, folks, if you can, stay home. I'll talk to you later.